This is a Made Simple Learning video tutorial. Visit our site for hundreds more videos. In this video, we'll show you how to add or remove application software or apps from your BlackBerry. You can also do this right on the device. You can add software by browsing and downloading it from BlackBerry App World, and we have another video showing you how to do that. You can also delete software right from your device. But in this video, let's take a look at how to do that using BlackBerry Desktop Software 6.0. I've got my BlackBerry Bold connected with the USB cable. You can see that with the USB icon right there next to it. You know, whatever BlackBerry you have, your model number will be shown there where it says BlackBerry Bold 9700. After you've connected your BlackBerry, go ahead and click on Applications here in the left column. It'll take a moment to read your current applications off your BlackBerry. Okay, now it's finished reading all the information off my BlackBerry. You can see at the top here a couple grayed out items. This is my BlackBerry system software. We have another video showing you how to update that device software. In this case, we can add or remove items. So for instance, if I wanted to add the French language, I'd click here for plus to install it. And notice at the bottom it says I have 44 megabytes remaining and 250 megabytes total application storage. It says pending install. If you hover over it, you can see what it says. Now if you want to remove an application or a language, click the X here. In this case, I don't need the English U UK, so I click the X to remove it. And notice down here, it's keeping a summary of all the actions I've just set up. I'm going to remove English UK, save 413K, and I'm going to add the French language. If you scroll down here, You've got input support for typing. You could add financial, legal, and medical terms for English. Let's add legal terms. You can see that's not installed, so we'll add that. Just 34K, not too much. And you can do that for various languages. And now you start to see some of the third-party apps I've installed. AOL IM, the Instant Messenger, BlackBerry Maps, BlackBerry Messenger. So if I want to remove BlackBerry Maps, say I didn't use that app, I go ahead and click that and save 1.2 megs. In my case, I use Google Maps, so I'll go ahead and remove BlackBerry Maps, save a little space. And if I needed to use Japanese or Korean or Thai, I could go ahead and install those right here. And I'm not using this app anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it by clicking the X. And I could add or remove various items. You can go all the way to the bottom. Now, what does this import files do? That's if you've imported or downloaded an application file. It's an ALX and a COD file from a website. Normally, you install BlackBerry software right on your device by browsing to a website and clicking and installing it or using App World. But in some cases, you'll download files and they'll end up in your downloads directory, sometimes even in a zip file. Let's click Import Files, and it's looking for Application Loader Files. So let's go up here. We're going to go to the Downloads directory, and you can see I've got an ALX file, Menu Mate ALX. If you've got a zipped up download, you'll have to unzip it first, and then you can locate the ALX file. So let's click Open, and it says Import Files. It's going to check right now to make sure that that software is okay for my BlackBerry software version. And apparently it was. So it says Menu Mate, and it's going to be installed. And when I'm done with everything, I just click Apply. And it says, Hold on, I'm going to update everything you just selected. And then it's going to reboot my device. Now that takes a little while, sometimes five minutes or more, depending on what's going on. So you should do this when you're not in a panic to use your BlackBerry. So we'll skip to the end of this process and it will definitely reboot my BlackBerry. Whenever it updates your system software it reboots and it usually takes at least 10 minutes and maybe a little bit more. And when everything's been updated you'll see this message here. It says complete and waiting for device initialization. That means it's rebooting the BlackBerry and completing the install. It doesn't need to reboot the BlackBerry every time now once your device reboots, 
if it's required for this particular loader operation, then you'll see this. It's reading your applications from your device. And you can scroll down the list here and make sure everything's installed that you wanted. I installed French, so it's there. I installed my legal terms. You can see those are on there. And then third-party applications will be towards the bottom here. And so you can scroll down the list here and make sure that all the applications you want installed were correctly installed. So that's it for using the Applications feature of BlackBerry Desktop Software to add or remove third-party applications and also parts of the BlackBerry operating system itself, such as languages. Thanks for watching and listening.